there's the 150 marker. I've just finished this video and I can't believe the distance I have just hit my 7.9. It literally felt like cheating. Every golfer is searching for that feeling where their golf swing for that one day feels like cheating. It's just out of the middle and you don't even feel it. Now I know with your irons, whether they're long, medium or short, you can achieve that in today's video. So my name's Alex Elliott, I'm a top 50 world coach and a PJ Golf professional. My sole aim for this channel is to help you play your best golf. Now we're answering this question because we're powered by you, the viewers. Steven said here, right, when I do take a divot, it's always before the ball. What can I do to help my iron striking? I've got a three step process today. I love this because it breaks it down. You build on each stage and you see that strike. Fly. So look at this from the player cam perspective. I would really say a golfer who strikes the golf ball at impact has their weight distribution 70-30 towards their lead side. That allows them to get that strike. If you don't have that weight distribution, so something like you can see here at player cam into impact, you're going to find it very, very hard to strike the golf ball and definitely more likely to hit the ground first. So the sole aim of this video, to get you feel like your golf swing's cheating, is having that weight in here, in here into impact. Now let's just break down this weight distribution in the golf swing from the start to the finish, because I always think it's best when you know what you're trying to achieve and the drill then allows you to unlock this. So look at me, right, and maybe, if you're watching this from home, this is something that you can start working on your game right now. Place that golf club across your chest, right? Just move your feet a little bit like I am here. I think this is the great way to reset and get back to 50-50 weight distribution. So during the backswing, I would really feel 60-40. As I start down, I'm moving into impact where I then feel 70-30. That finishing position, 90, 10. So let's break those down again. Feel them a little bit quicker. 60, 40, 70, 30, 90, 10. Now this for a lot of people is gonna feel a lot more into that left side. And that's what I've got to help you access right here with this process. Set up this drill. If you're on the grass, just scratch that ground a little bit, make a little bit of a mark. Or if you're at the range, you don't, can't make a mark, maybe just place a tee peg down like this. You saw this in the thumbnail. Have a look how I have placed that tee peg there. Now, this drill would help you if you're a low, medium, or high handicap golfer. So the first thing to do here is, right, we're gonna put our right foot and just stand on the toe like this. Have a look at that there. I mean, it's quite considerably behind there. What this does is now, you can really feel that awareness of loading that weight on that left hand side. I want you to make a few practice swings, almost imagining a line from that tee peg where you try and hit the line and forwards. So you know your first one, if you do it and fall back, you're really aware of where your weight isn't. Okay, you've got to really feel, that's perfect, that's perfect. You're getting the idea of where your weight wants to be at that point of impact through this exaggeration drill. I also love this drill because it gets you to stay and turn within yourself. These are all key skills, what this drill allows you to access to achieve this. So stage one, maybe have eight to 10 reps, feeling that line, trying to hit that line. And have a look at this now from the player cam. Doing the same drill, just trying to hit that line every single time. Now on to stage two. I want you just to hit one away. Yes, trust me on this. I want you to take one away like a half shot. Again, creating that awareness of where I want your weight to be at that point of impact, this. That was so pure. I can't actually believe how far that has just gone. But that's because I have to keep my weight here which is allowing me to hit down the key skill for your iron strikes to feel like they're cheating. Okay, final stage. Well, look at this shot, we're just over 150 yards away. Now I know doing this, I can comfortably get my seven iron here. So I two things I really feel here. First thing is maybe a couple of practice swings, exaggerating that 
feeling of those percentages, 70-30 at impact. But then in the shot, what I want you to encourage you to do is once you've hit it, I want you to be able to stand here and tap your foot. That's really showing yourself that you've got 90-10. If you're leaning back, you will not be able to tap that foot. It is that easy. You don't have to give it a big tap if you don't, but think, could I give it a tap? If you can, you know you've got that weight distribution. Weight distribution means your golf swing's gonna feel like it's cheating. Watch this ball flight here. So address that ball. You've done your homework. You've got your feels on the first two elements. Tap. That felt absolutely ripped. That is the divot we want. That's the feeling we want. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Use that three-step guide and I know it's gonna feel like cheating.